Hi, Christian Chase here with Chase Real Estate. I want to tell you about 10 minutes that can make you $10,000 in real estate. Now, the one thing that a lot of investors miss is the appraisal. And uh, you'll have your home on the market, you'll get the property under contract, uh, you'll have the home sold for $200,000 and the appraisal will come in and it'll say $190,000 on the appraisal. And you'll be like, what? You know, what happened here? I had two buyers that wanted to buy the property for $200,000, but the appraisal comes in at $190,000. Well, sometimes the appraisers need a little bit of help. And so, and I've sent out before is that PIC, we call it the PIC, the Property Information Questionnaire. And that kind of allows you, when you're listing your property for sale, to put down all of the improvements that you've made to the property new furnace, new air conditioning unit, new appliances, new cabinets, new vanities, new light fixtures, maybe some new electrical. Any of those items can be listed on that property information questionnaire or the PIC. So we want investors to do that because just recently we had an investor, the appraisal did come in $10,000 less. We had the investor fill out the PIC with all the items that they did, which was extensive. And then we shared that information with the appraiser who moved up the value of the property as a result to the uh, actual sales price by $10,000. And uh, because they could justify all of the major improvements that we made to the property. So there's one thing on an appraisal that I'm gonna show you here is the condition of the property. There's different condition levels. There's C1, that's new construction. None of our investment properties that we do will ever be a C1. C2 is where the property has been uh, almost completely remodeled. Everything is newer inside the house. That's where we want a lot of our properties to fall is into C2 condition. C3 condition means the property's in pretty darn good shape, but there is some uh, uh, just uh, depreciating items inside the property. C4 is something that would be a foreclosure or a C5 is a foreclosure as well. So we'll never ever be able to be a C1 condition, but we can easily get to a C2 condition if we've made some significant improvements to the property and we can show to the appraiser that we did make these improvements. And why an appraiser needs this list is that an appraiser is going to be a little bit nervous when they're putting an appraisal together on a property. Um, you know, they have their, their job is on the line. If they under appraise a property or over appraise a property and more likely over appraise a property. So if we can help them and show them the major improvements that have been made uh, and using that property information questionnaire, the PIC is critical and we can document each one of those items and putting an estimated dollar amount of what we spent for, one, uh, for each one of those items. It absolutely, and we can share that with the appraiser. And if we do that up front, it's even better because we're gonna to get to probably that C2 condition off of the first appraisal and we won't have to fight an appraisal. But worst case scenario, if you did not fill out the PIC, I would have you, the appraisal comes in low, I'm gonna have you fill out the property information questionnaire and then we're going to um, argue the uh, appraisal number and provide that uh, PIC with uh, our, our argument. So um, again, it's something that when we are listing the property, it's gonna be an extra document. It's gonna take you probably 10 minutes to fill it out if you look at your rehab scope. Um, you take those numbers and you put them onto this PIC and provide that to, the, to us. We would be able to share that with the realtors and the appraisers and the buyers that here's some of the major improvements that we've made to the property. So again, in 10 minutes, it saved us $10,000. So uh, make that effort, and as always, check out our website, chaseforeclosure.com, and uh, you can always give me a call at 630-527-0095. Thanks.